studied engineering and civil department can i get admission and mba without a ielts <laughs> there is no rule in the new zealand vishal that uh, guys who've done civil engineering uh, ielts will be waived uh, for mba ah uh, no i mean unfortunately ielts cannot be waived uh, it is a mandatory requirement for you to be able to get an admission into new zealand but i'm a little bit more uh, uh interested to know if you are choosing the right uh, course because uh, uh you are um uh choosing uh, to do a um, uh, mba uh when you have a background in uh, civil engineering uh because uh, for us civil engineers are in the long term skill shortage list of new zealand right now and there's a requirement so normally in a situation like this unless and until you are a really experienced civil engineer who wants to now genuinely move into a managerial position i normally do not advocate people to take up an mba i would say if you're a young fellow who is still below 30 and you you know uh, who's kind of just started in civil engineering uh, so to speak i would say continue to stick in civil engineering because we have a requirement for civil engineers in new zealand more than we have a requirement for business professionals in new zealand so that would be my uh, suggestion to you